How I wish I had been able to join you in person, because gatherings like these, which aim to unite the world community behind the development and well-being of, for instance, the African continent and its people, are crucial for a more just and peaceful world. Tolerance of and curiosity about different cultures is very important in a world characterized by diversity. The challenge for us all is to see beyond our own noses, beyond the comfort of our own communities, beyond the sanctuaries of our institutional, cultural, religious, and national borders to recognize each other as members of one family, the human family. To know that no matter how different we may look or how curiously we behave, we are ultimately members of one family, God's family. We share a finite planet and we all have similar needs. We learned about the power of collective action for good in our struggle against apartheid. We could not have achieved our liberation without the help of people around the world who through the use of non-violent means, including sanctions, boycotts and divestment, compelled their governments and corporations to reverse decades-long support for the then racist state. There was lots of money available to them to do business with South Africa, but they were willing to forego those riches to support a righteous cause. You too can contribute your little bit of good wherever you are. If you put all of those little bits of good together, they will overwhelm the world. Let us raise awareness about Africa's diversity, beauty and power. Let us raise the world's consciousness about the inequalities that still exist in our human family. Let us ask why some of our children, depending on where they live, automatically attend fantastic schools and universities, while others among us struggle for what we call universal access to education for our children. This is not just a moral imperative but also an economic necessity. Education is the very foundation stone of self-sufficient and self-sustaining communities and nations. There is much that Africa can teach the world. As the cradle of humankind, we do have a little experience in the affairs of human beings, not least in our understanding of the power of community, reconciliation, and forgiveness. One of the jewels of our experience is something we call Ubuntu, which is really an understanding that we are sociable beings who rely on one another. A person is a person through other persons. When we swept apartheid away in South Africa, our remarkable President Nelson Mandela established a Truth and Reconciliation Commission when some would have preferred Nuremberg-style trials. The commission was harrowing with the most excruciating evidence of brutality and repression. But the people's power of forgiveness, of acceptance of one another, was truly astonishing. Forgiveness is transformative. It is a gift that presents an opportunity to make a new beginning. We are made for togetherness for goodness, for compassion. Thank you, Yala Africa, for launching this online movement to share Africa's experience. God bless you.